ta-da! This is the Vortex. This is sort of my answer to a 3D printed car. I fully designed this myself. Obviously, I, I got some inspiration off the internet, but all of the parts I, I designed and did myself. At the moment, it's still a very traditional layout. So basically, one engine or one motor, rear wheel drive, front wheel steering. And let's see if we can have some, some fun with this. So here we can see my 3D printed car. All of the parts here I designed by myself. On the left side we see the front of the vehicle, including the suspension mount. And then down here we have the, the steering rack, um, which then turns the front wheels. Um, we have here 100 millimeter suspension. Then on the front I have mounted the ESC. This is a 120 ampere ESC. And these are just tightened down with some uh, rubber bands. Then behind that uh, we have the, the servo which is mounted upside down um, and then through this servo arm this connects directly with the steering rack. Then on the opposite side we have the, the motor and then on top of that we have the 6000 milliampere hour 3S LiPo battery. Um, under that we have the first uh, gear so the motor here connects them directly with the drive shaft and this goes to the rear axle. So this car is only rear wheel drive, not all wheel drive. Yeah, for some drifting and sporty driving that is uh, perfect. And then below the battery is the, the receiver. If we look at the bottom side, we can see the, the main uh, structure of the RC car. So I basically use these, these mending plates. Um, these are made of, of steel. Um, they're a bit heavy, but they're, they're super sturdy um, and they are sort of the backbone um, of this RC car. So I think that gives them a very good yeah, support structure. And yeah, now let's see how it uh, performs on this, this parking spot. Just some pre-flight checks. So basically here, I always check if the steering is working, so that's no problem. And then just briefly check if the wheels are turning. <laughs> All good. And with that, we can start the first test ride. So in this first shot here, we can sort of see how the car is performing over some uneven surfaces on the, the parking spot. Obviously, the suspension can be adjusted, and I tried to find here sort of the right balance between stiffness and softness. So stiffness, obviously, for the performance, but softness for the, the controllability over the car when it's going over these bumps. Just looking at sort of these videos, it seems like it's, it's actually doing quite well. You can see how the suspension is working and then at all times the car was controllable. In this shot, I just wanted to briefly demonstrate the, the turning capabilities of my RC car. So obviously, since it's only a two wheel drive layout, the front wheels are, are free to move in actually quite aggressive um, angles. So that allows me to really turn on the spot. In the last test run, I just wanted to test uh, the straight line performance. So going down a straight, would the car swerve left or right? Would it stay stable? And then also I wanted to check the acceleration. Obviously the gearbox I'm using is, is fully 3D printed. So I know if I go actually full throttle, it will break the, the plastic printed gears. So I only tested some light acceleration without going for a throttle as I did not want to risk breaking the, the gearbox. So yeah, I think that was the first successful test drive. Um, obviously there are still some parts that need to be um, improved on. Um, but otherwise I think it's, it's quite an agile thing. Um, there's still lots of potential left. So actually I never did go full throttle, it was maybe like 50% uh, or so. So I think once I've gained a little bit of trust in my own uh, construction and design, I'll probably try to, to test its limits a, a bit more. But for now I think this is yeah, a good intermediate step. <laughs>